This story is also an Arkansas Diamond nominee. The name of the book is Wordy Birdie. It was written by Tammy Sauer and illustrated by Dave Mottram. The title Wordy Birdie describes this main character, but that's also the main character's name. I know you know what a bird is, but do you know what wordy means? If someone is wordy, that means they have a lot to say and they have a lot of words as they try to say it. They use a lot of words all day long. So, Wordy Birdie says, Yay! You're so close to the story right now. Just turn the page. And here are the friends that are also in the book with her. Squirrel, who says, She's very excited. Rabbit, I am too. Raccoon, well, we are in a pretty great book. Maybe her friends can help her with this wordiness. The publisher of this book is Doubleday Books for Young Readers, and the copyright is 2018. Meet Wordy Birdie. Wordy Birdie has lots to say. It starts the moment she wakes up. See? Hello, sunrise. Hello, pink sky. Hello, orange sky. Hello, yellow sky. Hello, oh, hello, gorgeous. That's a lot of greetings, huh? Sometimes, Wordy Birdie talks about what she likes. Okay, let's see what she likes. I like spaghetti and unicorns and library books and polka dots and standing on my head and dot, dot, dot. Oh, do you know what it means when you see three dots like that after a list? It means the list just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Hmm. Sometimes she, Wordy Birdie, talks about what she doesn't like. All right, let's see what she doesn't like. I don't like tall grass or turtlenecks or long lines or tuna salad or losing my balloon or dot, dot, dot. Whew, she does have a lot to say, doesn't she? Sometimes she just asks questions like, why do zebras have stripes? Is Bigfoot real? Are we there yet? Hmm. But she never stops talking long enough to get the answers. Wordy Birdie is not the world's best listener. Uh-oh, Rabbit says, Oh, please. Raccoon says, Are we talking about the same bird here? Okay, okay. Wordy Birdie is terrible at listening. Squirrel agrees. That's more like it. She never listens to anybody, even when she should. All right, here's more words from Wordy Birdie. This one time, I totally went swimming with a narwhal. My third cousin, Barb, is a penguin. Really? Do you think there's an award for bird of the year? Fact! People used to think the world was flat and you could fall right off the end. Hmm. She's got lots of words, but they don't seem to go together very well, do they? Is she making a lot of sense to you? Me either. Hmm. One day, Wordy Birdie takes a walk into the deep woods. Naturally, she has plenty to say. Oh, that's a pretty tree. Oh, and that's a pretty danger sign. And that's a pretty tree. And dot, dot, dot. Before long, Squirrel zips in front of Wordy Birdie. Stop! Don't go any farther. Mm, let's check out the sign. Danger ahead. Turn back. 
Ooh, I think Squirrel read the sign. I'm not sure about Wordy Birdie. Does Wordy Birdie listen to her friend? What do you think? Uh-oh, Squirrel tells us the answer. She does not. Ooh, a pine cone. Ooh, a rock. Ooh, a sign. Ooh, a leaf. She's not paying much attention, is she? This sign says wrong way. Soon, Rabbit dashes onto the scene. Look, go back while you still can. Does Wordy Birdie listen? Uh-oh, Rabbit's telling us the, the, what happens. She does not. Uh-oh, here's another sign. This one says no trespassing. That means you're not allowed there. Maybe she'll read that one. Yay! My favorites! Strawberries for me! Carrots for me! And tomatoes for me! Then Raccoon gives a piece of advice. Run for your life! Uh-oh, that sounds dangerous. Does Wordy Birdie listen? What do you think? Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Whoa! It's getting darker and darker and darker and darker and darker and dot, dot, dot. Looky there! White circles and, and, and white triangles. Oh, I love white circles and triangles and... Rawr! 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 rawr. Rawr! Oh! Uh-oh. Well, this doesn't look good. Do Squirrel, Rabbit, and Raccoon just leave Wordy Birdie there? <gasps> we do not! Come on, says Squirrel. Follow us, says Raccoon. This way, says Rabbit. And Wordy Birdie? Oh, goodness, hopefully she listens this time. Oh, thank goodness, she listens. Hooray, said Squirrel. Raccoon says, that was almost unbearable. That's a good joke. Rabbit says, we made it. Then, Wordy Birdie says, thank you, the best way she knows how. I love you guys. Like, I really, really, really love you. Seriously, I love you more than spaghetti and unicorns and dot, dot, dot. Wordy Birdie still likes to talk a lot. See? Good night, sunset. Good night, orange sky. Good night, purple sky. Ooh, good night, you. But sometimes, sometimes, she likes to listen, too. Here's Rabbit getting a chance to talk. Remember when we totally saved you from that bear? And Raccoon adds, we were brave and amazing. And Squirrel adds, that was so cool. Wow, what do you know? She's not talking now. She's listening. Maybe she did learn a thing or two. Now that's what I call a good story. I'm going to read it again and again and again. Squirrel says, and then she'll read it approximately 523 more times. Rabbit agrees. This is true. And Raccoon confirms. Yep. Oh, well. Maybe if she reads it enough, she'll learn to be a great listener. All right. That is the end.